Stop. Don't skip. If you're reading this, it means that your angel has led you to this message for a reason. You won't understand now, but trust your angel's guidance. They have a message for you that can't wait until tomorrow. This is a secret that must be revealed only to you before it's too late. And you see, we often pass by and not pay attention to the signs and messages that the universe is trying to convey to us. But your angel has chosen you to receive this message, and it is important that you open your heart and mind to what they have to say. Many of us traverse life feeling disoriented, perplexed, and inundated, continuously seeking answers, purpose, and significance. Yet the truth resides within each of us. Your angel urges you to heed your inner voice, trust your instincts, and pursue the path designed for you. They affirm that you harbor a profound, unique purpose in this world, awaiting your discovery. Tomorrow's arrival is uncertain, a reality your angel recognizes. Hence, they implore you to embrace this revelation now, before it eludes you. Refuse to be hindered by fear, uncertainty, or hesitance. Your angel assures you of your capacity to achieve greatness, surmount any challenge, and lead a rich, purposeful existence. The angels remain watchful, prepared to safeguard and direct those who seek God with faith and reverence. Nevertheless, a significant peril looms over us, threatening our tranquility, security, and very souls. It's as if the heavens forewarn of imminent tribulation. God communicates this caution through signs and messages resonating within the hearts attuned to His divine will. Now is not the time for ignorance or spiritual complacency. We must be vigilant, seeking the face of the Lord through prayer and repentance. The enemy lurks, using cunning disguises and traps to lead us astray. But God offers us the chance to turn from imminent danger. Let's awaken from spiritual slumber, don the armor of God, and unite in fervent prayer and righteous action. With God's grace, we can triumph over all adversities. This is a call to spiritual battle, urging us to rise as warriors of light, facing danger with courage and unwavering faith. It's not just physical danger, it threatens our earthly and eternal lives. The evil one is active, weaving webs of deception to lead us astray. We must stay rooted in faith, hope, and love from our Lord. He's our fortress in the storm, greater than any danger we face. But we can't be passive. We must act with determination, repenting of sins, and seeking guidance and protection from God. With God's armor, we can resist the enemy's attacks and proclaim victory with faith in our hearts. Fear not, for God is with us. The danger we face isn't fleeting. It's a spiritual battle between light and darkness. Angels stand ready to defend us, but we must align with divine will, staying faithful and devoted. This thread is complex, undermining our spiritual integrity and connection with God hindering our ability to witness His glory. The enemy tirelessly seeks to infiltrate our defenses, sowing doubts and temptations. But we have God's gifts of faith, hope, and love, along with the Holy Spirit and His Word to guide us. In this crucial time, we must fervently turn to God, uniting in prayer for His intervention and seeking truth in His Word to navigate this dark world. So, people of God, Let's raise our voices in praise and worship, for the Lord of hosts is by our side. Be bold and fearless, for while danger looms, our God's power surpasses it all. The angels are sending us signs, urging us to prepare and stay alert. They caution of a spiritual storm approaching, one that could wreak havoc on our homes and loved ones if we're not firmly grounded in Christ Jesus. My dear ones, I can't ignore this divine calling. I feel the weight of responsibility, knowing I must share this warning with you. It's not by chance that I'm here today, speaking these words. It is God working through me, guiding, protecting, and loving us beyond measure. Danger may come in various forms, sickness, calamities, or temptations, 
But regardless, we must be ready, strengthening family bonds, fortifying our faith, and holding on to hope in Christ are essential. Let not the routine of daily life blind you to the spiritual realities around. Open your hearts to the Holy Spirit's guidance, comfort, and protection. Prayer is powerful. It connects us to the Almighty who shields us from all dangers. The angels don't warn to instill fear, but to prepare us for the spiritual battle ahead safeguarding our family souls and preserving faith amidst adversity. This imminent danger isn't solely physical, it's also spiritual. It can strain our family bonds and weaken our trust in the Lord if we're not grounded in His Word and enveloped by His love and protection. Hence, we can't neglect our pursuit of God or allow the enemy to catch us off guard. We must rise in prayer, intercession, and action shielding our families with faith and fostering relationships based on love, compassion, and truth. Let's heed this divine warning and not ignore the angel's call to spiritual warfare. With courage and unwavering faith, knowing God is with us, we can overcome. They persist in alerting us to the grave danger ahead, threatening not only our earthly families but also our eternal souls. It's a cosmic spiritual battle between heavenly hosts and dark forces. My dear ones, grasp the gravity of this summons. It's not merely about physical survival, but about safeguarding our spirits. The enemy aims not just to inflict temporary harm, but to rob, kill, and obliterate all that is sacred, all that the Lord holds dear. In this pivotal moment, let's unite in prayer, intercession, and worship. We must hoist the flag of faith over our homes, pledging allegiance to the Lord regardless of the challenges. It's time to fortify our spiritual roots, constructing our families upon the foundation of Christ Jesus. Let's not succumb to fear or doubt, but cling to God's promise of protection amidst trials. He surrounds us with His angels, shielding us from every evil. As warriors of light, Armed with truth and righteousness, we face challenges with courage and unwavering faith. With God on our side, who can stand against us? Let's seek His guidance, protection, and strength always. This warning isn't to instill fear, but to prepare us spiritually. Let's pray fervently for wisdom and protection for ourselves and our loved ones. Trusting in God is our refuge in troubled times. Let's heed this warning and not ignore the Holy Spirit's call to spiritual battle. Instead, let's rise with courage, committing to pray for our loved ones and cover them with divine protection. Trusting in God's faithfulness, may we face any danger with strength, knowing He is in control. Amid life's distractions, let's prioritize communion with God, seeking His guidance and protection. We must awaken from spiritual slumber, declaring our unwavering protection over our loved ones. Remember, we're not alone in this battle. God is with us, strengthening us with His Spirit and surrounding us with His angels. Let's trust in God's promise of deliverance and safety. Together, let's pray fervently for our loved ones, declaring divine protection and peace over their lives. As prayer warriors, may we build a spiritual wall of security around them, guiding them to find true peace in Christ. Let's stay strong in faith, trusting in God's power and holding on to hope. Let's heed the warning signals and be vigilant to protect our loved ones. Evil may lurk, but as children of God, we have His promise of refuge and strength. We must take warnings seriously standing firm in faith and fighting spiritual battles with prayer and God's Word. In this critical time, deepen your relationship with God, seeking His guidance wholeheartedly. Be diligent in seeking divine wisdom and attentive to the signs He sends. Let's heed warnings, unite in prayer, and trust in God's protection. In times of fear and distress, remember we're not alone. God surrounds us with security shielding us from harm. Lift your eyes to the mountains, trusting in His protection and steadfast love. Rest assured in His care, 
knowing he is faithful to his promises. So, let's praise the God who guards us from all evil. God says that he is the only owner of all the wealth and abundance of this world. And I tell you, this is the month of your harvest, the month of your great fortune. And I believe that God is ready to shower upon you an unmeasured blessing, a prosperity that overflows beyond our highest expectations. If you believe, type Amen. He has promised to bless us abundantly, not only for our own benefit, but so that we can bless others around us. When we trust in the Lord with all our heart and submit to His will, He will lead us to a place of abundance. For He is the God who gives power to acquire riches, and He does not fail in His promises. Raise your eyes high, firmly believing that your great fortune is on its way. May this be the month in which your barns overflow, in which your dreams come true, and in which your faith is rewarded with extraordinary divine provision. Proclaim His faithfulness in all circumstances and walk with confidence, knowing that with God at our side, we are more than conquerors. May the peace of the Lord, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. God's promise of protecting ourselves from all harm is not just an empty statement, but a powerful truth that echoes through the centuries. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and His faithfulness remains unwavering in all circumstances. When we look at the scriptures, we see countless stories of how God intervened on behalf of His people, protecting them from enemies, calamities, and the pitfalls of the evil one. From the time of Moses, when he led the Israelites through the Red Sea, to the days of Daniel, when the hungry lions had their mouths shut, we see God's supernatural power in action. Of today, no matter what challenges we face, no matter what storms surround us, we can be sure that God is with us, fighting on our behalf and giving us victory over all things. Furthermore, God's protection goes beyond the physical and material. It also protects our minds, our hearts, and our souls from the attacks of the enemy. He strengthens us with His truth, clothes us with His righteousness, and empowers us with His peace that passes all understanding. My beloved, may we lean on the promise of divine protection in every aspect of our lives. May we fully trust in the loving care of our Heavenly Father, knowing that He is faithful to guard and sustain us at all times. May we live each day in faith and gratitude, bearing witness to the transforming power of a God who protects us from all evil, and that in doing so, we can be a shining light in a world full of darkness, revealing the love and kindness of a God who never leaves us or forsakes us. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape, where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us, an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. 
Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath is told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, but a shared journey with God as our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. In moments of weakness, He provides strength. In times of doubt, He offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, He grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide. His word the compass that directs us, and His strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking His guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in His promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us. And as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question, it's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we're always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering His wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, His strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. 
But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us, a response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, fighting for us, and through Him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. 
As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, as we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promises is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance, but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Rock of Ages, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement, binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, Victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. 
I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited, and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust in decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. 
In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about His perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's call, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29. 
where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number 6. Persevering in Faith Despite Challenges The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number 7. Walking in Faith, Not by Sight The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, 
even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown, trusting in God's word, sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. 
Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen.